Well, welcome. This is kind of a Pastor Jason and Pastor Pat 101 video about what to expect when we get back to worship this coming week at St. Stephen's. And um, we're going to have our in-person worship services in the gym, and they're going to begin this Wednesday with our Eucharist service on the 3rd at 12.30 p.m. And worship services will be in the gym Sundays at 8.30 and 11 o'clock, and again Wednesdays at 12.30. And what we'd ask is that our Wednesday Eucharist services at 12.30 be reserved for those who are considered at risk. Pastor Jason? So we know that not everybody's going to come back all at once, and so the virtual worship service options are, are still important. So we want you to know those will still be there. Again, we're going to be live streaming Sundays at 8.30 a.m. and Wednesdays 12.30 p.m., um, and then those will be able to be viewed on our YouTube channel. So I uh, wanted to remind you of that. Also, don't forget that for those folks that are uh, at home, you can download our weekly bulletin from our website uh, to help follow along with the service. And then, again, if you know somebody who doesn't have the ability to access uh, our online worship, please help spread the word that they can request a DVD of the service or, uh, or a bulletin and just contact the church office and we'll make sure that we either uh, make it available for pickup, we can mail it to them, or we can drop it off at their house. We've been known to do that. That's right, that's right. So uh, please remember as we're getting back together for in-person worship uh, that we are going to still keep our physical dis distancing at all times while on campus. So uh, no hugging or handshaking or any other physical contact. Um, we do recommend that folks wear a mask while they're on campus, so remember that. Uh, and if for some reason you forget yours, we have a couple extras uh, that we can loan out uh, or give to you. And so uh, if you're one of those that are most at risk uh, from getting the virus, uh, we do encourage you to stay home. Uh, staying home is a faithful response. It doesn't mean that you're scared. It doesn't mean anything bad. Um, and God is still going to be with you. God will still love you. Your fellow congregation members will still love you and be here for you. So know that if you decide to stay home, that that is okay. Um, if you are a member of your household is sick or been exposed to the virus, please make sure you stay home and take the proper precautions before going back out. Um, and then also, this is we've learned all this stuff from day one. Wash your hands. Avoid touching your face. Cough into your elbow or a tissue. Throw the tissue away immediately. Bring your hand sanitizer and use it as much as you want. Um, and do anything else that you can do uh, to keep from spreading germs with one another. Now, when you get here, we're going to have all the doors propped open. And after each worship service, the facility will be disinfected before the next group of worshipers arrives. And to ensure that all areas are properly cleaned and disinfected, we'll be limiting access on the campus by either locking or blocking doors. And please be mindful of that by only accessing those areas that are made open and made available so we can keep them clean and safe. And parking. We'd ask you to park in the big parking lot on Butler Street, across the street, adjacent to the cemetery. Our handicap parking and drop-off parking will be on Church Street, where the fountain is. And that's for folks with limited mobility or they can't walk as far. And uh, we ask that no one park in the circle around the fountain so we can drop off those folks who, who have a need for that. Pastor Jason? Yeah. So uh, in terms of our worship seating, uh, we have groups of chairs that have already been appropriately distanced uh, in the gym. So ushers are going to be kind of strategically positioned to help you get from your car to the seats. Uh, the first set of ushers you'll encounter are going to be at the outside doors. Uh, there will also be one in the hallway that's kind of to welcome and direct you and get you going in the right direction. We'll have additional ushers that will be in the gym directing you to your seats and distributing uh, communion elements to you. So uh, each family will be seated in a separate group of chairs. Uh, and just a reminder, our nursery will not be available, so children are asked to remain seated with their family. And a few changes to worship. The sharing the peace as we're doing now is going to be a moment of silence. There will be no congregational singing of hymns or liturgy, but there will be musical interludes and anthems offered throughout our service in place of congregational hymns. So we're not going to forget the music, we're just not going to be singing. Um, and we'd also ask that children stay with their families during the children's sermon. And the offering plates are going to be at the entrance and or exit doors of the gym. And for Holy Communion, we're going to be having prepackaged wafer and wine. 
or grape juice and they're going to be prepackaged. So we ask after you receive those to hold on to those and then when you leave to place those in the trash cans that are the exit doors that will make that easy to do. And at the end of worship, each pod of seats will be excused individually at appropriately distance intervals. So please don't stop and socialize in the hallway so we can keep contact to a minimum. And Pastor Jensen, can you finish us up? Yeah, I think I can. So, you know, a part of living with COVID-19 is just the understanding that there's risks. So when we leave our homes, there's always a risk when we go out into public. And um, that same risk applies as we gather for worship. So, uh, you know, we can't guarantee a risk-free environment. Uh, we can just try to mitigate those risks as much as possible. Uh, but without fail, understand there still is a risk. And so, again, if you understand uh, that that risk is too much, uh, you don't, you're not willing to take that risk, that is a faithful response. Staying home because of the risk is okay. Um, God will still be with you. God will still love you. Your congregational members, those attending and those staying home, will still love you and be, for you, uh, be here for you as well. So, um, just remember, there's no shame or no judgment in deciding to stay home. All of those things are a faithful response. Just please make the best decision for you and for your family. Um, as always, if you have any questions or you need anything, please contact us. You can call the church office, email one of us, or, uh, or call the Crisis Care Line. Uh, for those who can be with us here this week, we look forward to seeing you. For those who can't be with us, we miss you and we're here for you. Um, and again, we love you all and may God continue to bless us and keep us as we go to be people of Christ making a difference every day. Bye, y'all. Bye.